Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your DIY plasma globe. And yes, it's been a long time since I have uploaded a video and sorry for that. And by the way, thank you so much for 3000 subscribers. And I've also decided to change my channel name. Now I'll be going through the techno right. And I like that name because it means a person who develops or uh, creates technology. So without further ado, let's get into the project. Now you're gonna need an electric fly sweater. Remove all the screws on it. Now you're gonna remove the plastic case and then you should see the circuit board inside it. Then you're going to unscrew the circuit board and completely remove it out of the case. So here we have our circuit. We're gonna do some changes to it to suit our needs. First of all, I'm gonna desolder the butt tactile switch over here. and keep the tactile switch aside below. Then I'm gonna put a metal piece over there and solder it together. After that, you're gonna desolder the switch over here. Keep the switch for future projects, we won't be needing it for this one. Now you're gonna take a wire and solder it over there. And do the same with another wire. Then take the tactile switch and solder it to the other ends of these two wires. Now we're gonna remove all the unwanted wires. And then desolder the battery as well. Once you have done that, keep the battery aside and take a 9 volt battery clip and solder it to those wires. And the last thing we're gonna remove is the capacitor over there. Desolder the wires and remove the capacitor carefully. Once you've got the capacitor out, keep it aside. The main reason we are not using this capacitor is that it has a very high capacitance and has a very low voltage rating. So it can be of use in the future projects. Now we are gonna make our own capacitor. For that, you're going to need two sheets of regular kitchen aluminum foil. The width of the foil is 15 cm and the length is 25 cm. Then you'll need four sheets of regular plastic sheets. It is cellulose acetate. Now place one of those plastic sheets down. and put an aluminum foil on top of it.
then take a high voltage wire and elect, uh, tape it with electric tape then take a clear plastic tape and tape all the corners of the uh, aluminum foil and then place another sheet of plastic right on top of it then take a credit card or any plastic card and press it so that it becomes straight then place another sheet of plastic on top of it and put the aluminum foil right over the uh, aluminum foil placed below it and tape all the corners with clear tape then take another high voltage wire and tape it with electric tape on the opposite corner of the previous wire Then finally take another um, sheet of plastic and place it on top of it. Then use the credit card to make it as flat as possible. Then you're gonna roll the plastic along with the aluminum to make a proper cylinder. and tape it so that it does not unravel so now we have made our own capacitor the voltage rating for it is 10,000 volts and it, it has a capacitance of 5 nanofarads to make the secondary coil you're gonna need a PVC tube or any plastic the length is about 14 centimeters and the diameter is 2.6 centimeters. Then you're gonna need some enameled copper wire. I'm using 27 gauge copper wire. This wire may look like it's bare wire but it's not. It's insulated with thin layer of insulation. Now we're gonna wind it on this plastic. I've already drilled a hole in the bottom. Now insert the wire through the hole. and then start winding it once you have wound the coil take some super glue and glue it The coil has around 383 turns. Now cut, uh, leave some wire on the top as well as the bottom. To make the plasma globe, you're gonna need an incandescent bulb. This is just a regular household bulb. If you have a bigger bulb, it is better. Now take the uh, enameled wire and scrape off the insulation.
and then you're gonna tape it to the bulb. Then slide the bulb inside the tube. And to secure it, hot glue it. So now we have made our secondary coil as well as the top load. Now safely keep it aside. Now we're gonna make the spark cap for the, our Tesla coil. For that, take a bottle, you can use any soda bottle, and cut off its head. Once you've cut it, make two holes opposite to each other. We're gonna use it to insert nails inside it. So here I have drilled two holes opposite to each other. Now insert the nails inside it. Now these two nails will function as a spark gap. For the project casing, I've got a cardboard box here, and yes, it's a S8 box. I've drilled a few holes for accommodating all the parts. First, I'm gonna put the spark gap over there. And then place the switch. I've got the switch from the fly sweater, I cut it off. Place the switch inside that hole. For the primary coil, I'm using a 9 gauge wire and the thickness of the coil is about 1.16 cm and make 4 turns of it. Now insert this wire through those two holes that we drilled. Then hot glue the bottom of it to the base. and wait for it to cool down. So now let's take a look of the circuit diagram. It's pretty easy. Now we have the high voltage transformer connected parallel to the capacitor and one end of the spark gap connected to the capacitor and the other to the primary coil. The other end of the primary coil is connected to the capacitor. Just wire the circuit according to this diagram. And now take the secondary coil and apply some hot glue at the bottom. Then insert the wire through the hole that I just made and secure it firmly over there. Wait for the glue to cool down. Once you have done that, now let's take a look at the circuitry inside it. So I have soldered everything. Now just take the uh, bottom end of the secondary coil and connect it to an insulated wire. And then insulate it with an electric tape. And now take a piece of aluminum foil and stick the wire to it. and then tape it on each end
Once that done, now we're gonna attach the 9V battery. The reason why I haven't attached it till now is that to prevent electrocuting myself. <laughs> And lastly, I got a printout of danger high voltage sign, just for fun, and I used clear tape to stick it to the box. Now this thing is not lethal as it only produces about 200 to 250 volts. But still, if you touch the spark gap, it could be painful enough. So now we have finally made our own DIY plasma ball. All you have to do to try it out is press this red button and uh, sparks start to show up. Is, aren't these things so cool? There are mini lightnings forming in your fingertips. So it's so safe to touch but don't touch the spark gap which could be painful and <clears throat> it's not lethal though. And yes, this Tesla coil can do other cool tricks such as lighting up this CFL bulb from a few centimeters away. So if you like this video, please uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. Thank you for watching.